and Dynamics are the primary processors for mastering, but they're not the only ones. Binaural Pan increases the width of the stereo image when you turn the width control past 100%. With vocals that are panned to the center, increasing width often spreads the instruments toward the left and right, thus creating more space for the vocal without having to remix it. If a track's stereo balance isn't quite right, adjust it with the pan control. The phase meter shows this change as the center line goes from off-center to center. To check how a track sounds in mono, Insert binaural pan at the end of the signal chain, then click on the mono button. The dual pan processor is another way to balance a stereo file. The input control weights the signal more toward the right or left. The pan controls can narrow a stereo signal selectively for each channel all the way down to mono. With link enabled, Setting the width control to minus 100% reverses the left and right channels. Let's have fun. Turning it to center narrows the width to mono, then turning toward plus 100% widens the signal again, with left and right in their non-reversed positions. The pan control now weights the signal toward one side or the other. The Level plugin may seem redundant compared to the other metering, but has a unique feature called intersample metering. Place the meter at the end of the chain and enable ISM. This predicts whether intersample clipping, which isn't shown by standard meters, will occur when converting from digital to analog. A red bar indicates that intersample clipping will occur with the numeric readout showing the level above zero. Reduce the track's level by a tiny bit more than the amount shown on the numeric readout. For example, if the readout shows 0.8 dB, reduce the track level by 1 dB. This is a great feature as digital distortion sounds very unpleasant. The phase meter is another useful diagnostic tool. This is a bigger version of the smaller phase meter to the right of the main level meter. The main phase meter display shows the levels of the left and right signals. Generally, this display will be symmetrical over time. The correlation meter shows zero when the left and right channels are independent, meaning they're 100% stereo, and one when they're the same, which indicates mono. Typically, this meter will fluctuate between zero and one depending on the amount of stereo and mono content at any given moment. The meter going negative indicates a phase difference between the left and right channels. This could lead to problems, like some frequencies cancelling when played back in mono. If the phase of one of the channels is reversed, insert the Mix tool to fix this. For example, if the left channel is inverted, re-invert it with the Mix tool. This solves the phase reversal problem. Our final processor is Reverb. When working with music cut at different times or in different studios, adding a hint of ambience may improve the track-to-track -track continuity. Studio One offers two reverbs, the Room Algorithmic Reverb and Open Air Convolution Reverb. The Room Reverb is more adjustable, while the Open Air gives extremely realistic ambiences. For mastering, the room reverb makes it easy to obtain subtle effects. As one example, the small club preset can add some simple ambience. Turn the dry wet control to 100% wet and adjust the mix control for the proportion of reverb sound with room reflections. Then dial in the desired amount of reverb with the dry wet control. You shouldn't need more than 10 to 15% to give a subtle hint of room sound.